Hey, what's going on? It's Rick here, and today I'm going to be showing you the iPhone Lightning Dock. Now, I'll admit, I was not expecting to pick this one up, but a local trip to my Apple store found me walking out with it. And uh, yeah, here is the box that it ships in. A little bit of a sticker shock on this, $49. So, man, you are really paying a premium for this dock. Uh, but, you know, let me pull it into view and talk about the weight and a few other things, and maybe we can justify some of the price. This is all aluminum, and it comes in a wide variety of colors. It's very small, uh, and on the back side here, you've got a output or a headphone jack that you can plug into. And then, of course, that other is for your lightning cable. So, you know, you're going to have to get another lightning cable to plug into this. You'll see on the bottom, it is a rubberized material that is non-slip with the Apple logo. And just to give some idea about how this weighs, it comes in at about 82 grams. So this is not something that's just going to easily be tossed around on your deck. I mean, it has a little bit of heft to it. And the cool thing I will say about this dock that I like is it will work with a number of cases because of the way that it raises up off of the platform with that white area that you see there. And it does hold the phone stable. Now, I'm not demoing it here, but you can definitely use iPads with this too. I mean, looks can be deceiving. So it's the iPhone Lightning Dock. There's not a whole lot more to say about it. It's expensive, but if you want to go the Apple route, if you want something that'll be friendly with most of the cases, not all, um, this might be a way to go. Thanks for watching the video, everybody, and I will catch you next time. Take care.